Hi, welcome back to Colky Drone. So, predominantly today, this is a video on what's in this case. This is the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom, which I've just bought. But before we go through that, I just wanted to give you a quick channel update and a quick where we are on my channel. So, I just wanted to point something out that when I, to fund these drones, I obviously have to buy and sell. So, I keep the core core element, which is all the top of the top range drones, if you like. So, I kept my Mavics. The phantoms and stuff like that but the other stuff i tend to sell i tend to sell on because it's the only way the channel will survive i don't have a an endless supply of cash to keep buying drones so that's how i fund my channel mainly i also fund it by i get some advertisement money so you can help out by watching the adverts which helps me massively because i get paid for that and i have thought about setting up a patreon page but people have mentioned it to me but it's not really something i'm really keen on doing because i chose to do this channel and it was my choice not yours and so I just wanted to get an update on that because people mention sometimes in videos how do you afford all these drones how do you keep buying all these posh drones well that's the reason my channel is funded by me or the small amount of money I get from advertising which isn't a lot of money but it helps me buy stuff like this so onto the drone why I bought this so as you're aware, I have been, I've had a female XA SE on order for ages, a couple of times now. And then, last week it got, it was sent in processing, and it never shipped. So I contacted them, and they said, oh, it'll be shipped out tomorrow. Be sh and then I contacted them again, two days later, it'll be shipped out tomorrow. Another two days went by, contacted them again, it'll be shipped out tomorrow. Next day it went on back order. So my order was lost again, so I've had enough of that. So you won't be seeing the Femi XA SE anytime soon. I'll probably wait now and buy it, buy one second hand, maybe six, seven, seven, eight months time. But I won't be buying one for the channel because I'm not being messed about like that anymore. I've had enough of it. It's pointless. The amount of times my Femi A3 went on back order, it was exactly the same issue. So I'll just wait until I can get older one. So then I decided to buy this. So I bought the Mavic Zoom 2. I didn't buy the Pro because I already had the Altel Evo which does 60 frames a second it's not going to run it sensor but it does 60 frames a second and I wanted something different this appealed to me obviously because of the zoom so about nine months ago I did a video saying why I wasn't going to buy trading my Mavic and buy a Mavic 2 zoom or a Mavic 2 Pro at that time they hadn't been properly released what they were going to be but I did say at that time, when the price drops, or if I can get one on deal, then I will buy one. Because it's a fantastic drone, I've never denied for one minute it didn't. And, to be fair, this thing has blown me away. So, this is what I bought. So, everything you can see here came in the package. So, I got four batteries, the multi-charger, four, two, three sets of props, some light LED lights that go on it, the car charger, the case that comes with the... Fly more combo which I don't have here but it's never been used and then of course this is the DJI Mavic hard case the official one so all this came with it and I paid £1,050 for this these batteries have been used six times each I think three six and one five the one that's in there has been five and the flat I flew it yesterday was now on it's six so it was as you can see it was an absolute bargain so you can get some real bargains out there so this is why i bought this one up i was going to buy just buy the bare thing which was a grand i think i can pick it up for a thousand pound now for the mavic zoom that's what i was going to buy but when i saw this i couldn't refuse the deal so i am going to review it even though it's been out ages now so you i'm just going to get the drone and the controller out but you can see the case is really nice quality it's a really nice case and under here it has a pop-out compartment where you keep the car charger. So it's a really, really nice case. Very strong. It's quite heavy. This becomes quite a heavy item when you get all this stuff in here. But yeah, fantastic drone. Fantastic case. So let's just put the case down out of the way for the minute. So you'll have all seen this before now. I will do, this is not going to be a comparison video for the Mavic against the Mavic, which I have kept. I won't be selling my original Mavic because I love it so much. I'll keep the original Mavic and this. 
uh, and I will do a comparison video, a complete comparison video at another point against this to show you what the main differences are and what you get extra for your money. Obviously the camera is the main thing. So if you've seen one of these before you'll see one of the nice things are these props. So these props are turned up ends and obviously shaped and that's to give better efficiency but also these are really really quiet. You'll see in the flight video which won't be today but you'll see the flight video when it's coming up which I've already recorded part, recorded part of how quiet this is when it's got the camera on. So it has two front sensors, two back sensors, two side sensors and top sensor. Some of these sensors only work in tripod mode and active track. So they don't work in all the modes. But to be fair, I suppose that's when you'd want them most. Uh, if you're doing serious filming, or if it's in, especially if it's in active track, that's when you want your sensors to work. And then underneath you have two LEDs, which I'll show you in a minute, which are ridiculously bright. Your ultrasonics and your cameras. It's got venting in the front to keep it cool. It is a heavy thing. It probably weighs, I say it probably weighs more than the, the Evo, possibly. I'll also have a comparison video against the Evo if you're interested in that. I'll have that up at some point. But yeah, really nice finished off drone. Nice bit of weight about it and the fit and finish as you can expect from DJI are fantastic. So the controller is very, very similar to the original. I think it's slightly wider. And it's obviously grey now instead of being black. But apart from that, I love the gimbal guard on this one compared to the original one, which I really didn't like. I put an aftermarket one on my Mavic because I prefer it. But this is really smart. So you unclip this and then just pull it forward. And then to put it back on, this piece just slips on top of here, on top of your camera, and then that just clips into the two slots and you push it into the back. It really is a nice gimbal guard. The gimbal is much better higher quality look than the original one you can see it's much better and it's vented at the back if you can see that on the camera see if i can show you that okay i can't get in line with the camera so you can see that it's vented at the back there it really is a nice gimbal it's very smooth in operation very very free so let's just power it up there should be enough life in this battery so i want to flew with yesterday I got it, he's only arrived yesterday, took it actually straight out. So it connects. So as you can see the controller is almost identical. Well it virtually is, I don't think it's a little bit wider. Don't know if it feels any different in my hand. So let me, I'm just going to connect it to the app, so I'll just pause it when I connect to the app so you're not bored with me connecting it and then I'll show you the features. Okay, so all connected up, so this is the image you see on the screen which is exactly as it was before. There's no difference here at all, apart from on here you now have, on this control is now your zoom on the zoom model obviously. And if you look on the screen there's my zoom. So, I can go from 24 to 48mm, so that's 24mm. And that is 48. I can also go to 96 in 1080p mode and it does that by a lossless zoom. So that's created that by that. You can saw a slight difference at 90. When you've got into 96 and you look at closely at your image, you can notice it's slightly not as sharp because it is lossless but it's partly digital done. This is a two times optical zoom, which is why this is one of its biggest selling features. Apart from that everything else is much much is very similar to the original Mavic. On the back here you can set these two buttons up you can. I have this one up to show me my battery status. Because that's what I tend to do. So rather than look at this by if I want to check my battery quickly I just click the back button. And then on this side I set up these two LEDs. So you can see how bright these things are. Let me show you on the table. So they put, as you can see on the table, they do pulse very, well they look to me to pulse really, really quickly. They're very bright in the sky and you can turn them on automatic or you can have them on off. So you can have, they're set to auto, that's turned on and that's off. So I have them on the back switch as well. But like I say, this back switch is totally up to you what you want to set it to. By going into your settings you can change that back switch to however you want it. So if you look there on the controller, I hope that's in focus, there are my back two switches. 
and then on the on this here you can set these up as well so I have mine set up for EV value is left and right so you can see the picture's getting darker and brighter when you set your EV that's back to normal there and then the other button if you notice my camera's now facing fully down so this if I go up and down it's a quick up and down of the camera so if I want to get down shots quickly if I want to just go straight down and point the camera down I'll just flick this down and then to get it back to position again just flick it up so that's how I have that set up again you can set it up you want got a pause button return to home and you're on and off for your controller you've got a video button on the top you have the camera button this one adjusts your gimbal obviously up and down on your gimbal and then the other one is what I've showed you for your zoom. On the side here you now have a switch which gives you tripod mode which is T, you have S for sport and P in the centre is for position hold, so your standard flight mode if you like. As you can see the sensors at the back and front are lighting up here because I've got it on my table and they're the side sensors so I've got the top sensor, if I put my hand over the top you can see what it does. Let's put my fingers over the front. So, it's full of sensors. It's got loads of features. But what I love about this drone, what, what, I wasn't, what surprised me more than anything else, is how differently it seemed to fly. I presumed it would fly just the same as the normal Mavic, but it doesn't. It's smoother in the air. It's more efficient. Again, that's something I'll go through when I do this comparison video. So, but just as a drone, if you're buying this in your first drone, it, trust me that it flies ridiculously smooth. The camera's razor sharp as you'd expect from a DDI product. The video you're getting out of it is 100 megabits per second. And it's a very, very sharp image. I really do like it. But it's expensive. It's an expensive drone, but you get what you pay for. Sure, you can get cheaper drones. You can get a lot cheaper drones. And I'm not saying for one minute the Femi X8 SE I was going to order wasn't a good drone because it is. It looks fantastic. I've seen a lot of videos of it. And it looks absolutely amazing but for me it wasn't going to be this and like I say I keep saying in videos I'm not a DDI fanboy I like drones doesn't matter who manufactures it I go on by what the drone actually does I don't mind the fact that I have to do updates doesn't bother me in the slightest you get kind of used to it when you've had DJI for years like I have so that's not an issue for me as a drone point of view I think it's absolutely amazing I'm going to have a conclusion video, well not a conclusion, after my first flight video I'll do a, I'll do a quick overview of what I, what I show you on the flight, but you're not going to be amazed when I tell you that it's amazing, I really do love this, do wish I'd bought the Pro, no not for me, I think the Pro the fantastic drone, don't get me wrong, the video quality it looks amazing, but I wanted, I wanted something different than what I had, totally different, and that's why I went for the Zoom version. I fancied the Zoom, I like playing with the lossless Zoom on the Parrot, but it isn't quite lossless, you can still tell when you've done it. So I wanted the optical Zoom with this. And like I say, I got it at a price that I really could not say no to. It really was a good price, considering I got it with the four batteries. You get around 20, I got around 24 to 25 minutes, so you don't get the 30 like we never do. I was getting 24, 25 which I think is still great compared to what the original was getting and I've got four batteries so it's a lot of flight time range wise when I tested it fantastic I think it, I didn't have an issue flying it further I'll obviously do a proper range test on this at some point so I will get a video up for in the next I don't know how many days it'll be but I'll get some flight footage up for you to show you what the flight footage looks like how good the video looks how good the camera does when it's zooming and then I'll get some videos of comparison I'll do a completely different video because I am for once going to play with the active track on this because of all the sensors so I want to do an active track video which I'll also incorporate with some of the other features so I'll probably do one on the feature of this which is not something I normally do on my channel but because it's what it is I wanted to do I wanted to do the feature on this so I will do one with active track and all the different flight modes you can do or most of them, I'm not saying all because some of them are completely pointless so what bother doing them uh, I'm not a big fan of active track but I know a lot of people out there are so I want to do this justice and show you what the active track is like and there's a few other things on here that quite 
I quite like the idea of the only thing I probably won't do is anything to do with waypoints because I don't really see the point. But I want to fly the drone. Um, so that's what I think of it. I'll also go through sport mode on that video and the tripod mode. So thanks ever so much for watching, putting up with the length of video and have a fantastic day.